Hey YouTube, so this is part of the 266SE build. This is a different crankcase. I mean, that one we know needs bearings. This one I bought off eBay, bought pretty cheap, but he said the bottom end was tight. But I mean, uh, yeah, look at that uh, bearing there. See that cage on there just sitting out there? Yeah, so these bearings are completely fucked. So, well, I'm gonna pull this case apart. Never pull the Husqvarna case apart. Hopefully, it's not too bad, but we'll see what happens. Wait, anyways, I'm going to pull the flywheel off, bring you guys back after I get the case out of support and tell you how I did it because I don't have a case tool separator. The one case I did pull apart is one of those old clones that actually popped apart like nothing. Which that, it's kind of scary, but whatever. I think there should be some resistance there, even in the bearings, but anyways, I'll keep you guys posted. Hey, so ready to take the rest of the screws out and uh, hopefully this will come apart. This is an update. This video, this build is not a fast build. This is a be done before next spring video. So, so that's why I want to dump by. What it's for. So, no oh shit. Yeah, I need to work glasses and see what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, and yeah, that's stripped up. So, I'm gonna. Pause, you guys want to pull out these bolts because I'm going to do it manual. So, anyways, catch you in a few seconds. Okay, so I got all the fasteners out, and let's see if this thing is going to all pop. Um, I'm just going to tap on the crankshaft and see if it'll split it a bit. Someone's going to yell at me for doing this, I'm sure. That's doing sweet fuck all. Mm. Try it from the other side, give it some taps. It's a dead blow, so it shouldn't really actually damage anything. Oh, look at that. She's splitting. Oh, there's a bolt up there I missed. Oh, good thing I've seen that now. What's that one? That's a flathead. I don't know if that's a, supposed to be there, but it's there. Yeah, at least the. I was actually quite worried about the, having to fight with these case outs just to uh, fit them apart. This saw uh, came from Labrador, Canada, or this chassis of a saw. I wanted to buy another one because I didn't want to fuck one up. I, I mean, what the hell is going on there? What kind of hillbilly? Fix shit is that? Aye, aye, aye. It's a really, I mean, somebody took their time to fix that, but I mean, that's. This one goes well. I might actually pull apart that other crankcase too, because that one's yeah, it's a little better shape. So this is basically a practice one. Let's put it that way. It's not usable. I think I have one of these gaskets. I hope so. I'm going to try and damage the crankcase itself. This very on this side seems okay. No, no, it's right fucked. Yeah, it's. That one's goobered too. I mean, everything looks okay. I think they had really, really deep clean. I just tap that crank out, or if I should actually get a puller. I'm just gonna tap it. Why not? No, oh, it's better one come out. Probably put some heat to it if I wanted to, but uh, or just use a puller. Yeah, so and crank looks over okay. So this must have eaten some debris from that. Uh, bearing cage but uh, can't see any damage. That's it for today. It's just an update on this project because it's a ongoing project. Fuck all these were inside the uh, oil tank. Only three. <coughs> That's funny. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a great Monday as far as Mondays go. Take it easy.